Guys, um, I was really praying about tonight and just uh, crystal clear, the Holy Spirit spoke to me about three words I felt with tonight. <clears throat> and that was uh, the words truth, fire and shout. And tonight I want to talk about the truth, the fire and the shout. And you know, for a lot of people, um, worship can be, uh, you know, like Mary breaking the alabaster box over the feet of Jesus. And that's, that has its place. That is absolutely imperative to the body of Christ that you sit at the feet of Jesus and you break the alabaster box over his feet and the whole fragrance of God fills the room. That is critical. But I tell you what, there are times when I just got to, sh- I have to shout. And, and I've been called everything from Tourette's to psycho man to crazy man to all sorts of things you know in fact the other night we had a leaders meeting at my house and I just felt we needed to shout we spent the better part of maybe three quarters of an hour shouting and my beautiful wife who's here Michelle stand up I didn't introduce you this is Michelle I'm busy raising our three kids for the last X amount of years we were in youth leadership before we um, had kids and so in seasons sometimes God hides you so Michelle's been hidden there, raising these three beautiful children. But she's here tonight because we've got a babysitter and it's just wonderful to have her. So she's excellent. She's, a, she's an amazing girl. She's incredibly prophetic and she's a good cook. Um, she's a good cook. But um, I don't even know how I said that. But anyway, the, the point I was trying to make was this, that, that the other night when we were doing this uh, leadership time we, I just felt we need to pray we need to pray make some noise we needed to shout we needed to yell and we just went for it and the kids woke up and they were crying and why does daddy have to yell at Jesus he hasn't done anything wrong <laughs> that was a nightmare and Michelle's going it's just the way daddy is you know just trying to sort of and Lucy Mason's kind of you know cuddling Lachlan and Madison's crying on the couch and Michaela's like dad's nuts and she goes and hides in the room anyway Michelle just kind of motions to me and, and I look out the window because we live on the main road in Frederick's Rice. I look out the window and over the main drag, there's three women in pink dressing gowns with cups of cocoa standing on the balcony <laughs> looking like going, do we need to call the cops? <laughs> like they could hear us across the main road. It was that loud. Sometimes you need to shout. Yeah. yeah! Sometimes you need to shout, the devil's on the back foot and he knows it. And this is what I love. The Bible says that there'll be no mercy for him on the day of judgment, only death and Hades, and he knows it. And he's on the back foot and he shakes every time we start to worship. And I tell you what, it's interesting. Everybody say the word truth. 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 Say it again. Say truth. truth. The Bible says that a time is coming and has now come where God desires worship and so worship him in spirit and in truth. He's looking for sincerity. He's looking for the real deal. You've got to pull back the surface and ask yourself the question here tonight, am I broken for Jesus? Has the seed fallen to the ground and died? Have I borne any fruit? He cursed the fig tree and it withered. You know why? Because it didn't bear any fruit. Don't be somebody who gets cropped from the vine because you didn't bear any fruit. Make sure you bear fruit. God, God moves through an atmosphere of truth. You've got to test the spirits. Have you ever been in the company of somebody who was rabbiting or rabbiting on and the spirit behind what they were saying didn't match the words we've got to be the real deal the spirit and the words need to be synonymous we need to be the real deal we need to be people that conform to the principles of the word of God and I love that about Jesus he said a time is coming and has now come where the father will look for worship is a worship in spirit and in truth pull back the surface ask yourself the question is there a fire inside that cannot be consumed do I really want God Am I prepared to worship whether I feel like it or not? Do I have a personal relationship in public places and in private? Is the person behind the closed doors the same who's in the light? The person who's actually in the light? 